Now that I have the sample, you serve me no purpose. Sadler! My boy Salazar will make sure you follow the same fate. Los Illuminados, Evil Cult in Resident Evil 4. It's a great time to be a Resident Evil fan. As the remake of Resident Evil 4 is out, we are back to discuss another important component that made this game so iconic. Today, we will discuss Los Illuminados, the primary hostile faction in Resident Evil 4. The term Los Illuminados means the enlightened in Spanish. They are a neo-pagan cult that formed around the millennium in a rocky region of Spain. They're famed for their devotion to Plagas, a parasitic insect species that created the main monsters of Resident Evil 4. Los Illuminados consider themselves as the continuity of an old primitive religion indigenous to the region, even though there's not enough proof to support this claim. The organization also has a connection with an illegal paramilitary consisting of its cult devotees. So, without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the world of Los Illuminados. Illuminados, the parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have absolute control. Who are Los Illuminados? The myth, the folklore of Los Illuminados, states that its believers are descended from an ancient prehistoric faith that thrived in Iberia thousands of years prior and centered around Plaga worship. This religion flourished into the early modern era when it was considered a risk to Catholicism in the area. Its devotees were massacred in a campaign led by Salazar, a fanatical nobleman. After that, the Plagas and their survivors were imprisoned behind the remnants of an old subterranean city and expected to expire. Salazar, who commanded from a near by Castle adopted the position of a castellan and guaranteed the survival of Catholicism in the area. The proof of this cult can be seen in cave art created by an island dwelling civilization. We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> Modern origin. The contemporary origin story of Los Illuminados can be tracked back to the early 1990s, when Osman Sadler became conscious of the Plagas via unknown sources. Dressed as a prophet, Sadler founded Los Illuminados as a sect to maintain the devotion of followers who could eventually be injected with the Plaga parasites. Among some early recruits was Ramon Salazar a descendant of the crusader ruler who was forced to make amends for his family's alleged transgressions to unlock the tunnels where the Plagas were held. Sadler eventually achieved his goal of capturing Salazar Castle and establishing his religion there. Once Salazar broke the lock into the subterranean runes, it was learned that the Plagas had expired long ago. Yet, spores that were nevertheless living were discovered in their fossilized remnants. They were later confirmed to exist when multiple miners became ill soon after the diggings began and were already in the process of recreating new entire bodies. Sadler achieved the technique to propagate the organism using the plagas and commenced incorporating plaga eggs into fresh human hosts. Once a human was infected with the plagas parasite, they turned into ganado, which is the name given to these monsters once they turned. The sect's devotees and a significant portion of the surrounding populace were rapidly contaminated with Plagas. Sadler was injected with a dominant species Plaga, which gave him direct influence over the others, with senior officers with similarly upgraded Plagas overseeing and instructing the Ganados. The villagers then continued with their everyday lives, which involved farming, participating in cult rituals at the local church, guarding Salazar's castle, or labouring in the mines. At the same time, the cult enthusiasts indulged in macabre practices and killings in Sadler's name. Ashley! Don't come! Hey! Take it easy! No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. The Kidnapping of the President's Daughter In 2004, US agent Jack Krauser arrived in the region in search of the parasite while working undercover for Albert Wesker. He was subsequently employed to abduct Ashley Graham, the daughter of United States President Graham. As part of an Illuminados conspiracy to contaminate Ashley with Las Plagas and return her to her dad to influence the United States executive branch. Sadler highlighted, however, that for the parasites to take control over the US, the Plagas would need to spread to individuals who have authority over the president's actions. You know, like, so Congress people, army generals, and CEOs of multinational private firms. As a plan B, Los Illuminados aimed to penetrate the United States and cause unrest from within, recruiting new cult members in the process. When Leon 
John S. Kennedy arrived, he caused severe damage to the Los Illuminados in his effort to rescue Ashley, hunting down influential cult figures before eventually slaying Osman Sadler, smashing the Master Plaga, and probably forcing the sect to an end, as seen in the climax of Resident Evil 4. Los Illuminados is ultimately found to still be active in subsequent installments, despite being relegated to ghosts of their previous selves. They aided Glenn Arias in plotting a large terror operation in New York. The Ganado Factions Within Los Illuminados The Monks Better known as the Zealots, also known as cultists, the monks are Ganados and critical participants of the Los Illuminados cult, which is headquartered in Ramon Salazar's fortress. They wear priestly robes with the sect symbol. Most monks wear black, the elites wear purple, and cult leaders wear red. The Zealots use a range of medieval weapons such as crossbows, scythes, flails, dynamite, and even RPG 7s. Some Zealots carry bulky wooden shields or don iron masks to safeguard themselves from bullets and other attack. Although better equipped and vigilant than the villagers, zealots display a more zombie-like attitude, typically meandering along idly when it's not escorted by high-ranked cultists. On the other hand, zealots will attack with astounding speed and viciousness, surprising the player once provoked. Their complexion is considerably darker than the other members and they appear hairless. However, this is most likely because they have purposefully shaved their heads as a ministerial statement instead of as a consequence of the illness. Some even have ritualistic tattoos or wounds. Long story short, they are the scariest members of the cult. Villagers, representatives of the Ganada-controlled El Pueblo hamlet, are also devoted members of this cult. They were partially responsible for the parasite's release in the first place, since contracted miners from the village excavated out Las Plagas under the supervision of both Sadler alongside one of his most loyal lieutenants, Ramon Salazar. They were ultimately contaminated with the Plaga and commanded by another of Sadler's top commanders, Chief Victorez Mendez. Sadler personally gave them special instructions to assassinate any invaders to the village who had infiltrated it and to keep Ashley confined within the cathedral. They create weapons out of household products and farm implements. They tend to be the most brutal and vicious of the three Ganado factions, yet not as formidable as the zealots or combatants. Which brings us to our last faction. <laughs> <laughs> Combatants are Sadler's hand-picked troops and the island base guards from Los Illuminados who are afflicted with the Plaga. They are military troops although they seldom use guns, instead they utilise crossbows, miniguns and rocket launchers. They could also man formidable turrets and had a hidden shipyard that harboured a battleship armed with numerous massive cannons, machine guns and what seemed to be ballistic missiles. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know. My name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. Note for members of Los Illuminados, Osmond Sadler. We previously discussed Osmond Sadler, the cult leader who was influential in taking over a tiny village in rural Spain using mind-controlling Plaga parasites. We also know that he was also behind the scheme to kidnap Ashley Graham, the daughter of US President Graham, and inject her with Las Plagas. Sadler and his accomplices confronted US SOCOM officer Leon S. Kennedy, who had been deployed to rescue Ashley when Sadler's scheme was carried out in late 2004. Sadler was confident that his plan would work with a massive army of Ganados and BOWs under his command, and the American visitor would be killed. He had even implanted Leon with a Plaga egg soon following his arrival in the village. However, Leon would eventually obtain access to the medical technology on Sadler's island fortress and extract the parasite from both his and Ashley's bodies. With Sadler's scheme failing and with his followers nearly wiped out, he and Leon eventually met on an elevated platform with the apprehended spy Ada Wong hanging on a wire above them. Leon rescued Ada and rechallenged Sadler, but Sadler underwent a horrifying metamorphosis as his dominant strain, Plaga, surfaced. Sadler failed to kill Leon despite his terrifying appearance and was eliminated when Leon blasted him with a bazooka. Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. Ramon Salazar, 
Ramon Salazar, the eighth Castellan of Salazar Castle, had lived alone except for his butler from infancy and had no close family. This left him susceptible to the impact of Osman Sadler, who effectively indoctrinated Salazar to believe Los Illuminados' ideas firmly. Salazar became convinced that he needed to break the plague as seal to atone for the wrongdoings of his forefather, the first Castellan. He was infected with one of the parasites once the mining of the plague began. This would give him command over the ganado, most of Los Illuminados' followers, and two terrifying deformed protectors, Verdugos. He was ultimately entirely taken over by the parasite's influence. Salazar retired to his castle since he no longer worried about nearly anything but the preservation and dominance of Los Illuminados, culminating in his involvement in the kidnapping of the US president's daughter, Ashley Graham, in 2004. Salazar blocked Leon's contact with his colleagues at US SOCOM, hijacking the connection so he could insult Leon directly. Despite his castle's death traps, Salazar was outraged by Leon's resilience in surviving. In the end, Leon pursues Salazar within a tower close to the fortress, where the Illuminados would execute some sort of ceremony before returning Ashley to Sadler's Island. When confronted with the American spy, Salazar and his surviving Verdugo bodyguard combined with the Queen Plaga, transforming into a plant-like parasite monster that took over the whole upstairs wall with two giant and deadly tentacles on either side. Leon eventually overcame Salazar after a long, painful struggle, bringing the eighth Castellan's dominion and the Salazar lineage to an end. Vitores Mendez Vitores Mendez was a towering, intimidating man with a shaggy beard and a silky trench coat. This man was a Los Illuminados commander and a tiny rural community leader. He was harboring a dominant strain plaga and was capable of ruling over the Ganado locals as his pawns. Mendez spearheaded the search for Leon Kennedy and the fugitive Luis Serra during Leon's probe of the area in 2004, leaving behind records of his methods for catching the spy. In a failed attempt, Mendez dispatched a force of Ganados to bring back Ashley Graham after Leon liberated liberated her from the local church. Mendez eventually took control of this situation and battled Leon himself within an empty abattoir. Mendez mutated into a terrifying monster after Leon shot at an oil barrel and set the place on fire, striking with his long talons and many smaller insectoid appendages from his extended spine. Leon proved too crafty and tenacious for the villager chief to handle, and the agent assassinated him. Ashley, upstairs! Okay, it's game time. Louis Serra. Lord Sadler enlisted Louis Serra, a biologist, to help with the alteration of the plaga that they found in fossilized manors. When the Illuminados made new bioorganic weapons and Sarah realized the scope of their intentions, he became filled with guilt and tried to flee the sect. He contacted the enigmatic spy Ada Wong, who was then working for an organization known simply as the Organization, and requested their aid in his escape. The deal was that Sarah would offer the organization a dominant strain of Plaga specimen in exchange. When trying to steal the material from the Illuminados laboratories, Luis was caught and implanted with the subordinate strain Plaga egg. He would flee from captivity with Leon Kennedy's aid and then support the American agent in a brutal struggle against a Ganados gang. Luis would later meet Leon at Castle Salazar after collecting the Plaga samples and a container of medicines to stop the parasite from spreading inside Leon's and Ashley's bodies. Nevertheless, Luis was assassinated soon after when Sadler stabbed him through his back with a massive stinger-tipped appendage. So we understand each other clearly. I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, Jack Krauser. Krauser was originally a member and Leon's comrade during Operation Javier. He had quit the agency and faked death. Following his disappearance, he was hired into Albert Wesker's new organization, reportedly to support Wesker in resurrecting the fallen Umbrella Corporation. Krauser was tasked in 2004 with penetrating the Illuminado sect and obtaining a dominant strain Plaga specimen. He abducted Ashley Graham, the president's daughter, to earn Sadler's faith. Krauser interpreted it as destiny when Leon was assigned to save Ashley, so he went up against his ex-partner. In Sadler's island stronghold, Krauser and Leon battled one another inside a complex of runes. Krauser used his knowledge of the area to his benefit, attacking Leon from cleverly positioned vantage points and sometimes even flanking the agent with a handful of drones. Leon required three keystones to depart the runes. Two were scattered across the complex while Krauser clung to the third. As Leon squared off with Krauser to retrieve the third key, Krauser demonstrated precisely how strong and unearthly he had evolved to be. Krauser was capable 
capable of protecting himself from Leon's bullets and attacked with incredible quickness and accuracy when his left arm turned into a grotesque biological sword. Krauser failed to kill Leon despite the Plaga enhancing his physique and he was thus beaten. Although defeated, Krauser survived his confrontation with Leon. He then resolved to go for Ada Wong who had already betrayed Wesker by supporting Leon in overcoming the island's threat. Despite being wounded, Krauser proved a formidable opponent and assaulted Ada atop one of the facility's towers. However, he failed to defeat Ada and she ended up killing him for good. I think it's time I paid my due respects towards your impressive and stubborn will. Mr. Kennedy, welcome. Marvellous verdict. And that brings us to the end of the video. As we can see, Los Illuminados is one of the most dangerous villainous groups to come from the Resident Evil folklore. Their ability to alter the ancient parasitic strains of Las Plagas, resulting in dangerous transformations into Los Ganados, makes them a significant threat to human civilization. It's unclear whether this genesis of Los Illuminados will be followed in the Resident Evil 4 remake, or whether there will be any major changes. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is by playing the game. How is the new Resident Evil 4? Have you played it? Let us know in the comments below if you have, and if you liked the video, click the like button and share it with absolutely everybody you know. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks, guys. Now that he has chosen death, are oh, you gonna be kidding me?